What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video and today well today I woke up and I uh, went to the front door and saw that we finally got a package that we weren't even expecting today but it came in so let's go ahead and start putting her on. That package is the cold air intake for the tricks. So yep the matrix finally got the cold air intake coming so all we gotta do now is go ahead and do a show how, how to do it. So right now we went with the R-Tunes Racing cold air intake. You can find this one on eBay and things like that. I'll leave a link in the description below like always so anything we do to the cars I would always have a link in the description but yeah so let me go ahead uh, take everything out and then show you guys everything that it comes with all right everything is now laid out we have the aluminum pipe as well as the filter some couplings vacuum hose and some extra parts as in like 10 3 10 millimeters I believe nuts and then the spacer washer some a bolt and then the little thing that actually holds the cold air intake together actually i like it that it came out to be matte black and <laughs> i don't even know if we knew or what color it was going to be but i mean it matches now so we got the black hosing everything like that so now we get to finally take out all this ugly plastic and go ahead and put it nice aluminum matte black style so let's go ahead and start taking everything off first things first go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter and start taking off your clamps so there goes this one Go grab this guy right here. That should loosen up your intake. Just wiggle her out, and there she goes. Take, make sure you take off the switch for your mass airflow sensor, which mine is tight. Jeez. Going little, right, little. <laughs> this is so tight. Oh, there we go. All right, there's that one. Take her off. We're gonna need to get the sensor off, so I need to go back to the garage and get the hexes that I need. But as of right now, let's go ahead and start seeing where everything's gonna go. Oh, uh, this went onto the air box, but since we don't have the air box anymore, well, this is gonna be dangling there. So. <clears throat> First order of business, this is going to go right over here. Let me make sure which side is which. So, where is, okay, there's the pipe right there. So it goes from, does this side go on here? Okay, yeah, this side goes on to right here. And look, there was a 10 millimeter in here, so it's not want to lose that. I'm gonna need to set this bad boy up a little bit and be able to put it on a place where I'm able to add clamp clamp it on without really showing because I don't really want to show the the thing. I just wanna put it on that's it, but I also need to make it accessible for easy you know reach and things like that size is that too. should be the same size so more with the 12 I mean I got actually got an 11 they're probably 12s yep right on the money 12 okay so and the then. coupling to the throttle is on and dad doesn't want this so we're gonna go ahead and cut this off it's really not necessary to have this so it doesn't I mean really the Corolla the you have to really push it down yeah. for it to reach so and you're gonna bend the hell yeah, out of the coupling so yeah, we're going to cut this. Will it do anything bad? Nope, the Corolla does not have any. When we had her all motor. When she was all motor, she never used this piece anyways. So yeah, let's go ahead and cut this off. Alrighty, so that little piece is cut off. And now let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. Alright, so I don't want to put it in too deep. So let's go ahead and actually see. Let me put this guy on because I need a good feeling for how it's gonna sit. So, hey Dad, how about you think right here? Dad, huh? right here looks good. What you think? Right there. 
That's really as far as I could get it. Yeah, that's good right there. <clears throat> All right, I'll get you. Tie it in. Bad boy up right here. Mm -hmm. And now. Uh, but yeah, so. If you have yourself a saw saw or a grinder, just cut that little leg off. You don't really we'll get the need it. Yeah. Okay, so we like looks here, okay? Let me put it like this. If it was for the looks, I would have put it face in there. <laughs> or this that way. way you can turn it around. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do it like that, yeah. From yeah, right there. here, because. There, guy. Okay, a little bit more. Look. Start it up. See. Oh, hold on, we gotta tie this one first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is where, like a little seven. Oh my God! Right on the money again. The thing like uh, now the vacuum hose that goes here. <clears throat> A little bit too big through here. So we need a uh, the cutter to cut it because it's too long. It's too long. Yeah, we gotta cut it along. No, let me go get a razor. <clears throat> Alright, so I just went ahead and cut the vacuum line. Uh, I put a zip tie right on the bottom. All I gotta do is just connect this one onto the intake. And uh, yeah, so here's the rest of it. So yeah, a little bit of modifications, but it's not called. It is called modifying cars for a reason. So yeah. So let me go ahead and just put this guy on and zip tie it up and then give her a, a startup and let's see how she sounds. So just go ahead, uh, just put that one tube on. Let me fix the phone. Bam, right there. Get the zip tie. Wish we had the black ones. I can't find the black ones, so. White will do. There we go. Load it up with the razor. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, now that is done and that's complete. Super easy to put on. So let's go ahead and give her a startup. Sounds really good. Sounds way better than what we had. <laughs> now we gotta do is just when we uh, go ahead and punch the car, just hear how it activates and things like that. Other than that, sounds pretty cool. The little vacuum chamber, that's the best part about the, the cars, is the, the little vacuum sound. But just like that, super easy setup. And yeah, that's how you put on the quarter intake for the car but like i said i'll leave a link in the description below again so if you guys actually want to check it out and uh put it on your car then it's gonna be down there so well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and thumbs up like subscribe and turn on post notifications if you don't want to miss out an update on the tricks for the corolla or any of the other cars so yeah see you guys on the next one have a great day don't forget to buy merch <laughs>